I'm Margaret in Windsor, and <laughs> I'm putting up a few today. Well, I got my glasses, and I'm blinded by the light over here. Can't see anyway. Uh, I'm putting up uh, <laughs> a couple of uh, <laughs> three or four videos, uh, what's going on here in Virginia, and everybody's input on it. They're taking the, or trying to, take the Virginia governor down. He's a pediatrician. Um, <laughs> it's so ludicrous. And then in ways, Fairfax, and I want you to pay special attention here just in case this all mess is told about mind control murders, about Matthew J uh, Jesse Matthews, who was tried and convicted up there. Well, I think he pled... Um, Guilty because he didn't know, about, and he's a black man, African American. So don't you tell me that I was prejudiced. Heck no, I was for everybody's rights. They just stumped and all over mine. I didn't have any. But this is a name game. Like I'm going to give a for instance without giving all the other background. This this is associated with this. Back when my son Mark was. Uh, well, actually, he's born. We lived there in Mora, Georgia. There was this about Mora. Uh, okay, that was Lindbergh. Wasn't her name Ann Mora, the mother? Am I correct there? Uh, the Lindbergh child that was kidnapped. Okay, Snow. <laughs> I'm associating that, and that really shouldn't, I guess. But when Mark was born, just prior to him being born, uh, living in Trailer Park, Mora, Georgia, and my doctor was in, well, it was near College Park where a lot happened, too, in Forest Park. Forest Park. <laughs> Forest. Now somebody can say, oh, yeah, she's loop to loo or some insult me. Now, I'm telling you the truth. I just pray this is what's next. The uh, reporter on there came on, and after they were talking about the governor and the lieutenant governor and the state's uh, attorney, they're trying to take them down because of, they might have offended somebody. I've been offended all my life, and that doesn't even touch one second of the pain and suffering and illegal crimes done against me, yet no one has stepped up to the plate yet. And I want to say this, and I'm going to use this, not, no, I won't either. A young man that I think is a real friend that I just uh, friended on um, um Facebook, and if I'm not getting right back uh, with him and talking to him, I'm sorry, I will. Um, he's a very nice person. Uh, so maybe he'll see this. He watches the videos. I, I th I'm sure he does. Anyway, back to this. Um, all this is uh, outpouring <coughs> about, and everybody wants the governor to resign because um, if you went back in people's history, you can pull up and frame it any way you want to. My God, if they ever, this reporter just came on, and he had a smile on his face like he knows, so it may not be associated with me, or he may be it, it, that it is, and he's glad. I hope that's the reason. He said, what's next after all this outpouring about the governor, the lieutenant governor, the uh, state's attorney? Well, I hope they tell about me. And I want to mention this back in the name game and associated with and all this. It just dawned on me that, uh, you know, I've been told different things and they haven't happened. But the Jesse Matthews, he was uh, African-American here in Charlottesville, I believe is where he lived. And uh, there were murders here that can be proven. Uh, actually, there are three of them, but two specifically. And I won't name it. I don't need anybody coming after me right now because I told the truth. Those can be uh, proven. He pled guilty, quite frankly, because it was a mind control murder. He didn't know he didn't do it. Or somebody told him to go ahead. They couldn't get this into court. I was told later, whether it happens, that it will go into court and be told. Now, then, it's the name Fairfax and the fact that I lived in Fairfax and so much of, for a while 
and so much surrounded. This and I put some of it up on video. So now then, the the governor it came out that he was supposed to have worn an outfit, and they uh, everybody can't wait to uh, blame the Germans for something. Those Nazis. <laughs> God help us for what they've done to me personally and my children, mom and dad and country. And some of your own people, obviously. Jesse Matthews is uh, African-American. Um, so is Wayne Williams. So is O.J. Simpson. You've all known about this. I mean, the media, all of you I've told. Every step of the way, and on video, you, uh, on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, when I had Twitter, you name it. The African Americans have been a part of this. The Martin Luther King, the Andrew Young, the reverends, the reverends. They know all about me. They know about the mind control. They certainly know about Wayne Williams. They know about O.J. Simpson. Uh, I don't know that they know about uh, Jesse Matthews, but they also know about the Nichols uh African American that came out shooting at Fulton County Courthouse some years ago. I put this up on video and killed uh, a couple of people and uh, shot another one and ended up out skirts of Atlanta. And um, well, I guess into uh, maybe we'll hear it all told finally. Although it's such a mess, I don't know how you tell it. Uh, anyway, he's African American. Where in the heck, and a nice person uh, that I've heard, I've told all this and run when I didn't have money or food, kept penniless, a pauper beyond pauper. And to have people treat me, they didn't want to hear it. And I was told by the FBI out of Atlanta, I'll say this again, he pretended to yawn. He said, you know what you, people do with this? You bore them. It's not till they learn how to fix them that they care. Well, this mind control that I was writing about was like uh, Aurora, Colorado, James Holmes, and they're using the mental illness as a scapegoat. Mind control and programming has nothing to do with mental illness. That's being blamed, and people that it's been so maligned it has what has nothing to do with each other one's an illness one's imposed upon a person without their knowledge the civil rights hey martin luther king hey andrew young and all you others uh andy jackson heaven forbid now that i would be quoted as prejudiced with all the hate crimes done against me now then i started to say something else and oh yes Governor George Wallace of Alabama would not sell his soul. He's a good man, and you can call me. You already have every name in the book, and you're wrong. I'm not going to sell my soul and go up against... Well, he's dead. He was shot by a program shooter. Um, O.J. Simpson might like to know um, Wayne Williams of... Uh, Jesse Matthews, uh, some of these African-American um, people who were found guilty for crimes they didn't commit, they were programmed, they might like to know, where were you doing all this? You were going after me, gun ho Now, I want to get to this and make another enemy or two or three or four here. Uh, offensive. I've just heard it. Uh, somebody took a Confederate flag, rebel flag, into the school. I don't know, this was in some, I don't know, it doesn't matter to me. Because you have, when um, this was, a, I was kidnapped and brought up here from England. So, and given another name. So, uh, back to just one instance, how this has happened a lot. Um, one of the sisters of Lina Dempsey, the one that killed her twins, and I was put there, and she made my life a living friggin' hell. She was a psychopath. Okay. If I don't lose my train of thought, and I have. <laughs> I get, oh, I'm up at her sister's in the condition I was in after April Fool Day of 80, when they almost killed me again. And I'd worked for the district attorney and computer science and um, um, 
go, uh, tri golden triangle. Uh, I'm going to lose my train of thought. I'm up here this morning. I'm mad. I'm tired. And, um, oh, she, this is when I started going up on YouTube and Facebook with all this, or Facebook, and they just were afraid that people would know I was telling the truth, and it would bring attention on them and the cover-up of the murder of the twins, and then me, my identity, and what they'd done to me. So I'm up there in Kentucky with Annie Dempsey Carter. She had become a school teacher at a military academy there. And so, um, anyway, I was up there, and the first time I went by there just to see what they were talking about, after I ran in the campaign that Larry Flint helped me in uh, to replace U.S. Congressman Larry McDonald, doctor from Piedmont Hospital, Atlanta. Um, it looked like I had backup. I, he endorsed me in Hustler Magazine for the presidency, a nice full-page endorsement, um, April issue of 1984. I had that and still had the car. Barely had money to put gas in it, but she didn't know all that, maybe. So anyway, she treated me different. Then she started, and she, I told her an instance that there's no way I could know unless I remembered, could remember. So that scared her. So she was nice to me then. But after then, I got thrown right back out on the side of the road, and um, I went back up there. I was sick and went back up there and was treated like garbage. In fact, she scared the heck out of me, and um, where am I going with this? It was a TV ad, I believe it's electrical, that came to be during the, uh, when I was kidnapped to, to help the uh, communities with their electric electricity make it cheaper anyway they have once a year uh banquets or something oh they were still having them then she wouldn't let me out of her sight that second time because she wanted me dead and lina wanted me dead they the mother of the twins and i could hear them talking on the phone or her end of it annie's and um she wouldn't let me out of her sight and she made me go to this um picnic that the tva have once a year and I remember when the flag went up, and I wouldn't get up to salute it. And man, did she give me hell. You won't get up and uh, salute the American flag. And there was something else happened there, though, that scared her. They had this big, uh, they were having a little program up there, stage like, And out of this huge trunk, it had, it couldn't have been a real person. It, it was a big, um puppet, I guess, and it was dressed, it was, uh, represented the Union Jack and, uh, the UK. So she didn't like that. Here they've kidnapped me. My mother was an American. It's who I am, what they did to me. Are you getting the gist of this? Now, I'm going to go back, and my son, by the way, uh, was given the job of raising the American flag at his school uh, for a year, uh, out when we lived at, um, uh, Highway 5 in Marietta. So I look back, and on the other hand, I was told to salute the American flag. Now then, I'm going to say this. They tore down, they tried to tear down Robert E. Lee up here uh, in Charlottesville. I happen to like Robert E. Lee. Okay, now then they've got on, all this is going on here, and that's what the media came on and said, well, go, what's going to happen next? Heaven forbid they finally tell about me. But anyway, about the three flags are Confederate flags. You can't put the Confederate flag on the back of your car. You are going to offend somebody. You've all offended me, and me even telling this offended you, the truth. You put your hand on the Bible, so help you God, you tell the truth. I tell it, I'm offending you. You didn't offend me, got it? Now, I'm sure I'm going to get some doozies on this one. I hope they're about to tell about it. The Fairfax, oh God, please, using the name, oh please. Anyway, where am I going with this? The school here.
and this is just picking out a few of the things. These students carried the Confederate flag. Virginia was the first Confederate capital in Richmond. Then it moved to, am I right, Montgomery, Alabama? I hope I'm right. Anyway, it offends me. Um, I don't see anything wrong. And I'll go ahead and say it. And you got Meghan Markle sitting in my homes over there, which I have nothing against Meghan Markle. I think this is all staged to show what is being done to me. And um, everybody's out here. You're offending African-Americans. You're this and that. And then somebody down in South Africa will say, well, she's not for us. Yes, I am. I'm the lady who cared about everybody. Everybody didn't care about me. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Uh, but anyway, on the Confederate flag back here, I wanted to clarify that. Um, there's a big out, uh, blast about it now. And this one woman just got up there. I don't know her little title. And they've all offended me here. <laughs> they eat while I didn't. They have homes while I beg. They have a doctor. They have clothes. They give to all these charities. <laughs> and just all around me, and I'm begging. And... Uh, for food, clothing, up on the Appalachian Trail, and I almost lost my legs up there. They were told not to help me, and they didn't. Talk about a fin. Telling the truth offends you. Well, you got these three flags that the kids carried in school, and there was some kind of program, I believe. Uh, I don't I don't care. Because, to me, not just because I grew up in Alabama, uh, there's a lot of things that hurt there. There's some people that were nice there. Governor George Wallace, don't tell me I can't like him. He's an honest man, and he paid a price for it. So don't tell me that crap. Now you got these three kids take the Confederate flag in there. They didn't do anything else that I know of, and others are offended. Well, kiss my grits. Others are offended. You can't do that. Where in the heck do you people think you're going? You have sit by, and you know about me. You know about the mind control murders, and you're going to focus on removing the governor. Then you got, heaven forbid, the lieutenant governor is black, African-American, and it's a sexual charge. And then you got Mark Herring. I don't know what he was supposed to have done. All this focused on Virginia, and heaven help, what's next? I hope somewhere in this before I'm dead, heaven help me here, that the truth is told about me, and you're not going to print a lot of garbage about me like you did my beautiful, wonderful father and mother, Edward VIII, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor, from Madison, Wisconsin. So help me God.